Hey everybody, AJ here. I am Texas Green Tea on Twitter and I wanted to share with you something that I think is pretty cool. Uh, I've been working on this for about a week and uh, I'm going to be putting it up on GitHub pretty soon. I call it Dofsky. Basically, I've been trying to solve the problem of text input in VR. Um, we have a lot of different ways to try and tackle text input in VR. Most of the time you see some form of a digital uh, QWERTY keyboard that shows up in the space with you and you have to point at it with your six off controllers and try and hit each key one at a time by laser pointing at it. It's pretty difficult productivity wise, pretty much impossible to use. Um, especially now that we have things like Oculus Dash where we have uh, multitasking in VR for the first time. I want to be able to jump from one app to the next and be productive and use uh, QWERTY input sometimes and then jump back in, into 3D space and be using my controllers, switch back and forth without having to take my headset off, without having to put these controllers down. And so what I've come up with uh, to be able to put text input into, into any given application without leaving VR, uh, I've come up with this thing called Dofsky, which is short for Sixdoff ASCII. Basically, it's text input via your Sixdoff controllers. And so all I've done here, as you can see on screen, is map uh, each of the keys that are on your QWERTY keyboard to a certain button combination on a Sixdoff controller. And in theory, this should work on any Sixdoff controller. I've done it for uh, Oculus Rift, but I set it up in Unity on the OpenVR standard. Um, so in theory, it should work for Vive and and Windows uh, MR as well. Um, I haven't tested it on any platform except Oculus yet, so don't quote me on that. But uh, let me walk you through the demo a little bit and show you how it works. So I've mapped the vowels uh, to the single, uh, single button press keystrokes. Um, so you should be able to see the A light up when I push the left trigger. E lights up when I press the right trigger. Um, each of the, the six main buttons that you get on all of your OpenVR 6 off controllers have a key mapped to them, and then combinations of those buttons give you different keystrokes as well. And to show you that this is uh, connected to the operating system, it's not just inside this Unity app. I've got a, a notepad file here, and I'm going to type some text. Uh, I, I'm a uh, uh, disclaimer that I'm pretty slow at this still because I've only been working on this for about a week and I've gotten the mappings in place just a few days ago so I haven't had a whole lot of time to practice this but uh, let's see how I do. I'm going to put it into caps mode so I can have a capital T and then back to lowercase h i s uh, space uh, i s space a space Whoops, you see, I'm not that good at this yet, but I'm getting there. I'm definitely getting there. T E S T and period. So this is a test. I, I basically I want to be able to type anything from my six off controllers, and I feel like I can get pretty fast at this. Um, the muscle memory you can build up from just having these keystrokes in memory, and not just that, but but being able to memorize the combinations of keystrokes, just like you do on a QWERTY keyboard, I think is extremely valuable, much faster eventually than being able to point and click at one letter at a time the way we usually do in VR. And so the value of this I see is that it'll completely speed up our ability to input text while we're in our VR headsets without having to take the headset off, put the controllers down, type on the keyboard, pick them back up, put the headset back on the usual workflow that we have to go through uh, currently. Hopefully this will solve a lot of the pain that exists there still. Um, so to give you a little bit more detail, um, I'm going to show you a few other features that I've uh, put in here so far. I've got a bracket mode, so if you're using this to program, for example, if you're in Unity and then you need to jump over to Visual Studio to write some code, um, if you go into bracket mode, you have all of the brackets very easily accessible. Um, I, I set that up uh, specifically so that programmers could have an easier time using these controllers than they do trying to reach these brackets at the corner of the QWERTY keyboard. Um, so hopefully uh, in that way, this, this might not ever be as fast as touch typing, but as far as programming is concerned, you might find that it's even easier to program here than it is on your QWERTY keyboard. Um, that's kind of the goal, that's the hope. Uh, I don't know that I've got it set up perfectly to do that, but I feel like it's moving in the right direction. And so I'm open sourcing this. Uh, I'm going to put it up on GitHub. 
feel free and download it if you want to contribute or just play around with it. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm Texas Green Tea on Twitter if you have any questions. And I'm going to be putting up a bunch of videos about Dofsky uh, to show you how it works and, uh, and just to share my ideas. Hopefully I'll get some ideas back from you and we'll create a dialogue. Hopefully you guys will find this as useful as I've found it so far. I think I'm going to find this very useful when I'm programming VR stuff in the coming year.